Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Forsaken Legends video. In this video, um, we're looking at this new update that is actually, I think, almost two weeks old now. Uh, I'm sorry it's been a while for me getting around to making this video. But, you know, time is what time is. We all work, none of us really do this full time, so... Anyway, as you can see, we're no longer in the desert. Uh, we are now in still in a bubble. We still spawn in the bubble at this point in the update. Um, so we still cannot spawn right where we left off like normal MMOs. But uh, yeah, the time the daylight's doing some wacky things because I changed the time and it seems to be not really liking that. But that's okay. Anyway, but in this update we have a lot of new cool things. Um, we have crafting and we have... Um, uh, gathering resources, so we no longer can just build things arbitrarily. We actually have to harvest our resources. Uh, I've switched to the main server for my recording purposes because I, I'm starting to get to the point where I actually want to progress my character. Which, as you can see, we actually have experience now. Um, so our characters can level up. And uh, items also have various level requirements, as you can see down here. Level 3, bag, level 4 level five obviously I'm I'm only level one right now I got some levels up on the King server but I switched over to the main server because uh, I feel like this is the point where the game is actually going to start becoming a game and be more playable and I sense that we'll get an influx of players and that they'll want it to feel like an MMO so I want to actually play on the server where more people are going to be playing um, so Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you guys how the crafting works now, and still in its early phases. The combat, maybe it's because the combat actually means something. Uh, it feels more... It feels more fluid now that you gain experience and that items are actually important. Ah, yes. See, so you got 100 experience, and actually that's a pretty decent sword compared to what I'm wearing. It's much better. Anyway, um, a few things I wanted to show you before I started the crafting was some cool things that other guys made. Um, actually, that was mentioned in some of the forum posts. But uh, as you can see over here, the high tower is over this way. And someone else made another high. It's kind of funny, right next to the high tower. But here's the high tower over here in the distance. Somebody put a good amount of work into this and showed a, uh, a photo of it, which is kind of cool. Um... But I wanted to kind of show you guys up close in a video of it as well, so that way you can kind of get a feeling for the way the crafting works, since my original crafting video was all dark. <clears throat> so as you can see, let me zoom in here. Um, this guy built some some uh, staircase going up here, and built some walls and posts, and... Uh, you know, the crafting system still work in progress, but you can see even at this stage, they've done a good job of making it look really cool. And this was all built from the ground up, panel by panel. Everything on this tower was harvested. The raw resources were harvested and then crafted. Um, as you can see, the trees, for some reason, they still are they're still spawning inside the building. So I'm sure that's something they'll address, the developers will address soon. Um... And also, of course, just how it kind of, there's some glitches on the screen when you're moving through buildings like this. But, eh, you know, nothing too terrible. Let's see what the top of this tower looks like. Oh, boy. Okay, let me just zoom out. That'll probably make it easier on the pop-in. There we go. Anyway, so this is the tower. And uh, we're going to go start building something of our own here and make kind of a series of it um, and when we start building things we kind of want to make sure that we're building um, you know we're building close to this bubble so we don't have to run far to get back to our base anyway in order to gather resources there's two different ways you can do it right now and most of you guys already know this who are watching this now but this is just kind of for posterity's sake uh, when this game gets big, which I really hope it will, um, they can go back and see 
new players can go back and see what it was like in alpha. So the one way you can do it is just right clicking on this tree. And the tree will fall. They haven't completed the animation for it yet, so it just kind of disappears as it falls. And as you do that, you'll see in my bag here that I gather wood and I gather stone as I harvest the appropriate resource. So like over here, these are stone. Um, so anyway, so that's how you harvest resources. And then in order to craft, uh, you actually have to hit L, uh, the hotkey L, and it'll, you'll see all this stuff that you can craft. Um, stone doorway, I guess they don't have a art icon for it, but they have the art icon for everything else. Which this makes a little bit easier than it was before since you just had to kind of remember which numbers corresponded to the building pieces. Now you can kind of see when you hover over it that they're actually, see, they're actually explained. Wood half stairs, wood stairs, wood pillar, blah, 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 blah. I started building here, so let's go ahead and start construction. What you need to always start with, of course, is your stone foundations. And this is what you, you know, when you click it, you get the two second um, time to craft at the moment. And they can craft it, you'll notice that they can craft over here in different, um, in different rarities. So, like a green stone is better than a, than a grayed out stone, and a white stone is better than a, a grayed out stone. So you get different grades of, uh, of materials. And what the developers want to do with that is they want to make sure that it will, um, that the higher grade pieces will have more hit points so it can withstand more damage. So if you wanted to make like a really elite castle, you would keep crafting on this until you got all, I think purples are the rarest, or orange, I guess is the rarest, legendary orange. But um, anyway, I think as the crafting system gets more and more uh, in depth, your chances of hitting you, and you'll level up in your skills. In fact, I actually am leveling up in my skills, aren't I? Yes, see, I've got 24 out of 350. And as you level up, you have a better chance of getting better grade materials at it from what you craft. So I might be level 1 blacksmith, or level 27 blacksmithing, but when I get to level 28, 29, whatever, all the better chance of crafting higher materials than just the greens that I have here. And so eventually I should craft something better than the green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and drag them into my hotbars. And you can actually uh, set different hotbars by going through, uh, I believe it's the F, yeah, see the F2, F, F1, F2, F3. And you can go between your um, construction materials and your abilities if you want to do it that way. I don't see a need to do it just yet. So anyway, so then in order to use it, I just hit the hotkey that corresponds to, like in this case, 8. I think the goal was that the mobs wouldn't technically ever respawn. They would just mate with each other and create an ecosystem. So that's how they're getting around the, you know, does this mob spawn in my base or not. So you'll notice you don't actually have to go into building mode anymore. Um, that has been eliminated, but you can still scroll in to go to first person. And that's something, of course, they already mentioned in their video on this. And I want to make this probably up to... I'll probably make it up to here and then go over this way and then have a, a high turret to watch things on this hill. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, hopefully this all turns out really cool. I can build some huts in here and have some turrets. Um, and people will bow to my awesome. Anyway, I'm going to go gather some more resources, so I'll be right back. Some of the cool things is, as you can see, underwater. Um, if I can actually keep my camera underwater. There is, um, resources spawn underwater. So, they don't have a breath system in right now, I don't think, so I don't think I can drown. But I can actually harvest rocks underwater. See? And I like how underwater it's kind of murky and it's really what you would expect underwater. It's not like that clear. Like in World of Warcraft, it's so clear you can see for miles underwater. But here, this is very realistic and it almost 
you know, the, the, the water's kind of blurred out and stuff. You know, my, it's kind of blurred like you're looking through water. And um, it's just a really neat touch. And when you get out, see your camera's sprinkled in water. So I finished building some more materials. I'm back. Um, I really want to actually grind to level 3 so I can use my two bags in my inventory. Give me more bag space and free up two bag spaces that the bags are taking up. See, here's the thing. If I want to make room for a doorway, I kind of have to... I guess I could put one right here, right? Yeah, I can just put an entryway right here. That'll work. Yep. So this is going to kind of be a long, like, you can see it's going to be a long rectangular sort of base. Which is okay. I'm okay with that. Um, hope you guys are okay with that. And if you are already playing this game in the alpha, you can actually log on and you can see this. And um, if you are seeing this, please don't uh, don't build inside this thing. Because I want to do a lot of work with it. I'm really excited for it. But while I'm out doing this, I should probably show you the other way to harvest. Because I only showed you this one way. Which I prefer harvesting this way just because it feels more realistic. And I feel like I'm actually doing it myself. Um, but the other way is to actually go to your spell book. Go to your wizard and get your area gather. And you can take your area gather and basically cast it over something and it'll start gathering slowly as you can see in my bag you'll see my wood start to go up slowly it's not as fast but it you can actually have that going while you're harvesting manually too to increase the speed of your harvesting I need more rock I need more stone the stone is important uh, there's no they haven't uh, changed it so that you can level up your talents while you level up. Uh, they still want you to have all your abilities, and I think that's a good thing at this point. They don't need to put that in. We know how that would work, and it would just be a grind for us. And I can say that I definitely approve of this update. I, It's hard to bring yourself to play the game when the only thing in there is crafting for which you sacrifice absolutely nothing for to get, because it didn't cost anything. Like, I feel much more accomplished about this string of walls that I've put up just because I harvested the resources and took the time to craft everything. Oh, look. Oh, oh. I got a bag. And that gives me more bag space. Sweet. So I'm actually going to go ahead and... I don't know why this area, uh, area gathering icon keeps glitching. As you can see, no matter what I'm on, it just stays there. Uh, but whatever. So I'm going to build a turret out over this. Uh, I already mentioned this, but I'm just kind of showing you how I'm doing it. And this is probably as far out as it needs to go, really. It's going to look taller than it actually is, because obviously the floor is going to be more like up here. The floor of the turret. Um, but from the outside, it's going to look like it's taller. And I kind of like... Uh, that's one of the things I really like about this building system. It doesn't make you waste a whole lot of resources. I really, really do like this building system. Um, and that will be the edge of it. Yeah, so you guys can see, I got the base of this turret. I don't know when I'm supposed to end this episode, I just want to keep playing, you know? Developers, good job, because I don't want to stop. But I don't want to have a huge video to edit through either. Um, so let's see, let me make sure that I've just gone over everything. I've covered the new building, well, the building's the same, but I've kind of covered the crafting and how that goes into it. I've said that the... Um, combat's a little bit better, <clears throat> feels better. There's a le there's an XP system as you guys all saw. Um, still no talent, you know. I can't increase my base stats from a combat stats with a talent tree yet. 
Uh, bags drop, gives you more space, which is very handy, especially considering when you craft everything. Um, obviously there's water and grass and everything is much nicer than the desert. Only the fools will flee to the desert to build their bases when this goes live. Um, but hey, you know, if you want to be the sand people, knock yourself out. You can do anything in this game. It's really awesome. So anyway, uh, thank you so much everybody for watching. Um, this game, the name is Forsaken Legends. Uh, the developers are Holy Fire Games. Here's our annotations. Uh, as you know, the drill, the, for, the um, Forsaken Legends forum website is in the description below. Their YouTube channel is linked in that annotation. My YouTube channel's linked at the bottom of the screen here for you guys to go subscribe to so that you can continue to see the development of this awesome base that I'm going to make. And it's not even a base, it's a castle. It's going to be a good old-fashioned castle. And don't any of you guys run over here and ruin my day and start building things in it, as I know some of you probably will do. But if you do, please remove it because I don't want you guys to, you know, mess around with my building things. They haven't even finished the outline. Anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching again. I said that already, but I'm saying it again. My name is Zeru, and this is The Babblers. <laughs>